Commander-in-Chief and President Dr. Irfan Ali said the budgetary allocation for the Guyana Defense Force, GDF, has increased to $17.6 billion this year for training and enhanced acquisition of vehicles and machinery. This forms part of plans to develop a smart and high-tech defense force. President Ali was speaking at the GDF's annual officers conference on Thursday at the National Cultural Center in Georgetown. We'll continue to strengthen the force capabilities in the years ahead. We are looking at a smarter force with greater utilization of technology and intelligence. The Commander-in-Chief also charged the force to use current events like the ongoing Russia-Ukraine situation to develop a strategic approach to deal with such issues. We have to start doing scenario modeling. Not only workshops and the officer conference, the same mundane format. Long before the conference, we should task specific units to come up with modeling and analyze different modeling of scenarios that can confront us. The force was further challenged to develop strategies to deal with climate change and natural disasters and even food security. The president also asked that the GDF produce an outcome document defining its roles and responsibilities in building one Guyana. Meanwhile, Chief of Staff Brigadier Godfrey Bess assured of the force's resolve to defend the Guyana. Bess said that while diplomacy remains the first line of defense, the force must enhance its national security profile to confront any threats. Despite being heavily dependent on diplomacy, we are mindful of the pervasive great power complex and the effects this can have on Guyana's developmental trust. There is always an ever-present danger of Russia deploying troops to Venezuela, again being caught in the diplomatic conundrum. In 2021, 62% of the ranks of the GDF underwent military and capacity building training with local and international academies. Additionally, several ranks were allocated houses and house lots. President Ali said he will continue to foster training at both the local and foreign level for ranks. The booming narcotics industry, organized crime, illegal airstrips, border crossing and migration issues continue to present significant challenges to the GDF. But Bess assured that the force stands ready to defuse any situation or threat. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Isanella Pato.